All right, hey everyone. I want to use this video to talk a little bit about the film analysis that you're going to be that you you'll be writing this semester. There's actually three times you're going to write these analyses, one for each of the theorists, first for Durkheim, second for Marx, and then for for Weber. And there's a set of videos you'll select from for each of those theorists for you to to write this analysis. So uh, the first thing to do is to know where the instructions are. Um, so if you go again to the Start Here page, we can go down to Assignment Instructions, and there you will find where um, the instructions uh, for this and other assignments in the course are going to be. So you can just go ahead and click on the Film Analysis Paper Instructions, and this will pull them uh, right up into your browser. You can, of course, download these um, and save them on to your hard drive if, if you prefer, but they will always be here on the, the course page. So again, over the course of the semester, you're going to write three of these. Um, and you can go down to the very bottom of this, uh, uh, of this, uh, this instruction sheet and see what options you have for which, for which theorist. The very first film analysis, film analysis one that you're going to write will be about Durkheim. And you'll choose between The Village, Pleasantville, and Lord of the Flies to watch. Um, now you can see I've provided uh, places where you can go and find each of these films. Um, and hopefully a, over the course I've got enough of these videos that you'll be able to use um, some of the streaming services you already have in order to, to, to find them um, and, and to be able to watch them. Uh, and then for Marx you'll see a set of videos, Lego Movie, Elysium, B Movie, Snowpiercer, and then finally for Weber, we've got um, uh, three films to choose from, Office Space, A Few Good Men, and Brazil. So uh, in thinking about what you need to be doing for these papers, one of the key things I want to stress is that these are not meant to be uh, sort of film critiques, where you would critique the film from a, from a, a kind of filmography point of view. Um, and these are not to be descriptions of what the contents of the film are. They are to be analyses of the film. I want you to use the theorists and the theoretical concepts to analyze uh, a, a particular film sociologically. So the way to think about this is imagine that you are Durkheim. How would you use Durkheim's concepts to analyze the film? How would Durkheim look at this film sociologically and analyze it from a sociological point of view. The same for Marx, the same for, uh, for Weber. Um, okay, so let's, you, can, you can take time to, to read through these, uh, pr the particulars of the, of the assignment. Um, I want to note a couple of things. Uh, th again, these are, are, you're supposed to use the film as a vehicle for discussing the concepts, and I only want you to focus in on uh, the core, most relevant concepts. What can happen um, uh, in these is that you try to use all of the concepts we have from the theorist to analyze it, and what you end up doing is not providing in the two to three pages you, that you have uh, enough uh, understanding and depth of each of, of any one of those particular concepts. So really you should be selecting and focusing in on one, maybe two of the concepts if they're particularly related to each other. And you can see down here I've provided with you the concepts from which you're to choose. Um, that is, each of these theorists gives us lots of different angles to come from and lots of concepts to use, but I want you to focus in on choosing one of the concepts that are listed here and really focus in on that. Um, so I've, I've kind of limited out what, what concepts I want you to use. And again, you're focusing on one, maybe two uh, concepts from them. Be sure that you're defining what that concept is so that I know how you're, you, that you understand it and that you're describing examples from the film that illustrate those particular concepts. Again, what you're trying to do is to analyze the film sociologically. You want to be clear and concise in how you do this. And again, this should be happening within two to three pages. Um, so you'll start in the paper by just outlining the very basic, the, the basic parts of the, of the plot or the basic plot of the movie. Again, very briefly, we're talking about one paragraph 
at, at most to uh, describe the, the movie. Remember, I have seen all of these movies and I understand them and know them uh, reasonably well. So you don't have to spend a lot of your time trying to explain the basic plot of line of the movie. Um, what you really want to focus in is on the second part of the, the paper where you develop your analysis for the paper. Here, you're going to identify, again, one, maybe two concepts or ideas, and you really want to flesh out how these things are at work in the film, um, how we can see the, the way that Marx talks about exploitation inside of the Lego movie. Here, you're going to be using particular examples to draw on to illustrate how it is that we can see these concepts through this particular film. Right? Don't try to use all of the elements of any given theorist uh, for that film. Again, focus in on what you think are the one or two most relevant concepts that you can see and you feel confident in writing a paper around. And then you want to conclude by just summarizing what we've learned sociologically in that film. How, again, sort of reiterating your points about how we see those concepts. Okay, um, uh, again, a, a, a good paper, and I tried to outline what a good paper is going to look like. A good analysis is going to incorporate and accurately discuss the most relevant course concepts uh, from, the, from a particular theorist. It's going to be well organized so that the, the sentences um, flow freely and fluently and are understandable to the reader and is going to be free of grammatical errors. Right? Uh, the very best papers are going to organize this whole thing around a particular thesis uh, that organizes and structures the paper. Um, so when you have questions about this, let me know. But this provides you with, I think, a rough understanding, a, a, a good enough understanding for you to go forward in, in, in crafting the best film analyses that you can. But let me know what, an, what questions I can answer for you.